Start clapping now. It's Melvin Stewart and Lance Beckers! Come on to the stage, you two. That's right. Get on up here. Welcome. Welcome back. Who's starting us off? Y'all started off. Sorry, those two autistic kids were slowing us down. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You said that shit. Give me some. Let's do it. Here. You want to do it? You want to lead it? Ready, everybody? No, come on. Three, two, one. Rose. Neil deGrasse Tyson, with all the support of NASA, could not measure the distance between Liz's right titty and her left titty. <laughs> Melvin is just mad because he takes his reparations at McDonald's coupons. <laughs> Wait, no, no, I You see her trying to colonize my joking shit, yeah. guys? <laughs> Liz is just mad because there's a midget hiding underneath her dress, and we can all tell. Get the fuck out of here. You look like Santa and Aunt Jemima had a kid. <laughs> <laughs> all right, wait, 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 real punchline, real punchline. All right, you, you look like Jonah Hill in blackface before the weight loss. <laughs> but then he, he lost weight like three different times, though, so which one? The most recent, it don't matter. You still there, baby. Liz looked like she slapped long johns on her face before she puts them in her mouth. <laughs> you can tell by his t-shirt that he's a big fan of anime. Melvin fell heavy into anime right after he found out that China cured diabetes. Falling heavy into anime is what Liz does when she eats an entire family-sized pizza. <laughs> Props to you for beating the stereotype and not running out on your kids. I mean, physically you can't, but... <laughs> you wanted to talk, my nigga. Look at the thighs. Look at the... Uh. Yeah, the weights, baby. What are you lifting? Donuts to that face? <laughs> as much pussy as I could get right here, you feel me? <laughs> you look like you have asthma, but have never been able to spell the word asthma. <laughs> Goddamn. You, that was good, but can I go? Like, she didn't cut, cut me all off. Get it, baby. Like, she bad. cut me a lot... If Cut me a line at the buffet, and now she'll cut me a line in my roast? Goddamn. Like, yeah. <laughs> so, you look like your street name. She ain't even, even gone, big nigga. <laughs> hey, tell a joke. You pop shit. Let's hear some jokes. Okay, so when I look at Liz, I'm a fat nigga, as y'all can tell. Liz make me real hungry, because this bitch is built like a soft serve ice cream cone. <laughs> all jiggly at the top and all flat at the motherfucking bottom. You the pot or the kettle in this one, but that's okay, because you look like your breath and your belly button smell the same. <laughs> Liz, I told you that in confidence. Don't tell other people. <laughs> all right. Liz is built like Larry the Cable Guy. <laughs> Melvin identifies as black first, a man second, and hungry all the time. <laughs> I got it from you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Liz looks like she dip. Liz looks like she deep throws dill pickles because she can't find a man. Sir, you think I'm intimidated of a guy that took the phrase "be the bigger person" literally? <laughs> Wait, my turn. Okay. No, that was, wasn't that your turn? I don't know. That was just a comeback. Stephanie, I need your help. Why are you moderating? You guys are on your own. Fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell's going when on? You mean like Melvin Stewart and titties that big? Your one nose job and a whole bank account for being a Jewish woman. <laughs> hey, it is 2024. I can identify and be whatever I want, okay? I respect it. I respect it. Liz has the voice of a bouncer, but simultaneously the body of a woman that could never get into that club. <laughs> come on, come on, bad oh, come on, Liz. bad oh, bad oh, bad oh. All right, God, Fat Albert, this is a true story. <laughs> This is a true story. Me and Melvin actually used to work together at Second Street. Melvin was, uh, excuse me, Melvin was fired from Second City for inappropriate comments. I guess he can't control what goes in or out of his mouth. Because he's fat. Liz was fired from Second City for eating all the chicken tenders out the garbage. Just in case. <laughs> free food is free food, baby. <laughs> you, you're not wrong. I fuck with that. I'll eat, I'll eat anything that's free. That's why Liz is on the show tonight. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Which is funny. That's really funny because when Melvin found out he was booked for a roast, he went and grabbed a plate. <laughs> <laughs> Something but about it. Ugh. You do look like that R&B singer Khalid if he lost his career, gained a bunch of weight, and was forced to impersonate Nick Cannon. <laughs> I don't think they know who Khalid is, sis. I'm sorry. <laughs> 
Yeah, but you do. That's fine. Uh, <laughs> last joke. Okay, I, got, I think I got one more. What is it? Uh, Liz looks like some Michelin man. If instead of selling tires, this nigga decided to be a plus size model at Walmart. <laughs> Big ups to you for taking my Michelin joke from our last roast, but uh, I didn't know that there was a dining car on the Underground Railroad. <laughs> <laughs> That was crazy. <laughs> God damn. Uh, um, yeah, James, great, of course. Great, We're going to you first. Great, great. This, this looks like before and after you put a Thanksgiving turkey in the oven. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. You're big. You're both big. Melvin, you're big. You look like the only slave would be picking cotton candy. You're a... Uh... <laughs> Like the only slave master that would grow cotton candy, you fat fuck. Damn, bro, you might want to wait until he votes before you throw shots back at him. Liz is, Liz is built like the Tide Pod he never uses. Uh, no, but because I was just racist, I'm gonna give it to Melvin. One for Melvin. I'm not gonna lie, she fucked you up so bad I thought you were in family court. Uh, <laughs> You guys look like you have beef just because she's a correctional officer at a place you used to live. <laughs> I gotta give it up for Liz. Liz what? Liz, what it do, girl? How we doing? <laughs> no, Liz looks like a lot of my ex-girlfriends, and so does Melvin. So, uh... <laughs> it's hard to get a bad bitch. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm giving it to Liz. She fucking crushed it. This is our winner. Chris Greco. Yes, visually, this is Melvin versus his greatest weakness. <laughs> <laughs> Liz, I am giving my vote to you, even though you look like a woman about to deny my papers at a DMV. <laughs> Great work. Fine. Liz, our winner, but Ian with final thoughts. Does it, is the winner is, is done already? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I don't matter. Yeah, nah, I, this battle was wild for me because I closed my eyes and Melvin, you sound like a white bitch and Liz. <laughs> Liz sound like Melvin. I was like, what the fuck? Uh, Liz, you had the comebacks. You was ready. You ain't even get to the jokes because the comeback was so good. So I got to give it to Liz. Liz is our winner. Thank you. Really, really super quick. Really super quick. You remember, Chris, the last roast battle. That was my first one. This is my second ever roast battle. Melvin picked me for both, and you got smacked twice! <laughs> 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 <laughs>